Let's take three this is by the way. So good evening everyone. I'm going to leave that one in there. I'm, I'm kind of doing that one. So um, we're back after the Easter holidays and uh, stop laughing. It's just back to me. I've got anyway, we're going to be making a really nice light summery or well, pre-summer pasta dish using some spaghetti, um, some prawns. These are frozen prawns, they're not fresh ones. Frozen prawns, um, some courgette, sun-dried tomato. We've got a little chili pepper here, um, a base, and over here I've got some spaghetti. So if we come just this way quickly, um, the glasses over there. So what we're we going to be doing? What we've got here? That's one. Right. So what we're we going? Alexa, stop. So it doesn't take a lot of time to cook this dish. Okay. So I've cooked pre-cooking the pasta. So when you're cooking pasta, I'm allowing about 125 grams of spaghetti per person. Okay, so I've got just in here just over 250 grams just over in here of spaghetti. Uh, I've got a really deep pan of water and how we cook it, just put a little bit of salt in there um, and it's got to be quite a deep pan, you can't cook spaghetti in a, in a shallow pan. Uh, just a touch of oil just to help um, coat the pasta so it doesn't stick together. And that's going to cook for about 8 to 11 minutes. It's had Nine minutes, right? Nine to eleven minutes. I've had nine minutes. What does the salt do? Salt seasons it. Otherwise, it's very bland. So you season the water, and then you put the. the it's like when you're blanching any vegetable, when you pop it in the water, um, the salt then gets absorbed into it. So pasta, like vegetables, they they, they absorb the liquid. So that's how they, they cook. So that just seasons the pasta, pre-seasons it. Um, so that's had nine minutes. So it's going to have a couple more minutes. It's nearly nearly ready. Um, so we want it al dente, and if it, if it does cook, if it's ready, I'll, we'll take it out and strain it. Actually, that is done. That's had probably 10 minutes, because I had a minute wasted trying to start this video from scratch. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put this in the cut in the cut and the sink. Now, because it's got the oil in it, it shouldn't stick together. But I'm just going to rinse it off just to put some get some starch off of it. Okay, so I'm just going to put it in the strainer here. And then I'm just going to, just use a bit of warm water, I'm just going to rinse that through and then that shouldn't, shouldn't stick together. Okay, and then just pop that back on top of the pan. So that's ready to go to go into our pasta. Should put the light on. Can you see this? Have it over the light. Is the rest of the light right? We need a blind. We need the blinds, we do. So I'm just going to we'll start warm the pan up and then I'll explain what ingredients I've got and quantities. So this is recipes for two people. So I've got a nice big pan, non sick pan here. Um, we want a big pan like this because we're going to be coating the pasta in the sauce that we're making. Okay, so if we come this way. So right here I've got one red onion and I've got one stick of celery and I've finely diced it. Okay, that will give them, that's going to be the base uh, for the, the sauce that's going to get a load, load of flavour. I've got, I like garlic. I've actually got four cloves of garlic here, which might be too much for some people, but I really like the flavour of it. So there's four cloves of garlic, you can reduce it down if you want it. I've got one courgette, this is quite a large courgette, and I've just diced it into dices like so. You can slice it, um, or you can grate it, depends what texture you want to have. Um, I've got 20 prawns, so there's 10 prawns per person I've allowed in there. So okay. that's raw jumbo prawns. Yeah, these were just frozen ones. They're they're deveined and peeled, um, and yeah, there's, there's ten, ten per person. I've got a, a bunch of parsley. Let's just finish one small red chili. I've got half a lemon in the juicer, which is going to go in at the end, and I've got some sun-dried tomatoes, which are going to take about six or seven sun-dried tomatoes, plus some of the oil that it sits in. That's going to help in the sauce as well. And then over here I've got uh, some white wine which I'm just going to put in a little splash of that just to give it a bit of flavour. That's going to be the sauce. So there's going to be no cream in or anything like that, it's just going to be um, just going to be this. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to put about a spoonful of oil in the pan, olive oil in the pan, and I'm going to add my onions and my celery. I'm just going to start cooking those down. So I'm extracting all the flavours. So we're, we're cooking this on the stove. Got it too hot. That's a bit rubbish, that one. I don't know who cut this, but it was me. Uh, <laughs> that was a bit rubbish. Don't want that in there. Um, so 
we're going to start sweating this down. So sweating again is drawing out all the flavours in it. So we've done a massively high heat at this stage. We're going to turn the heat up because we're going to cook the prawns. We want that on a high heat, we've done it on a low heat. So starting it off nice and low. So we've got the onions with the courgette, uh, and the courgettes with onions with the celery in. And then we're going to put in the garlic. So if you don't want all four cloves, then don't put all four cloves in. Um, that's not a problem. So I'm going to sweat these down for a couple of minutes. This gives it a little bit of texture as well to the, uh, to the finished pasta. Um, it's cooking away. You got any jokes? No, no jokes. Okay, that's cooking nicely there, that's sweating down nicely. Okay. So you could take this a little bit further if you wanted to. But I quite like a little bit of a, a bite to it, like the texture going through, so it's entirely up to you. You don't have to put the celery in if you don't want to. It's entirely up to you. Again, it's personal preference. Okay, so I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit now and I'm going to add in the courgettes. So I'm going to fry the courgettes. And the courgettes will probably take about a minute or two. So that won't take long. Just want to get those softened up a little bit. And at this point, I'm going to add just a little tiny bit of salt, okay? Just so that it starts to season and, and go through the dish nice and evenly. So just got some rock salt here, some, some of the mold and the sea salt, so just a little pinch over there just to help start to season and flavour the, the dish. I'll probably get told off by it. anyone that's remotely Italian for that to put salt and pepper in at this, this early stage of cooking. Okay, just while that's, that's um, sweating away and cooking away, I'm just going to chop my chilli, so hello, stop on your phone. Right, camera woman's pan is a phone with you already. So, what we're going to do is I'm just going to slice this chilli up. Um, it's only a, it's a little chilli, it's a homegrown chilli, so it's off one of the, our chilli plants. Was it off your mum's chilli? Mum's, yeah. That was your mum's chilli. They'll be froze from last year. Yeah, so last year's crop, and we freeze them. Again, we've got them in there, the freezer. Uh, they're quite strong, these ones. I couldn't tell you what variety it is, but it is quite strong. So I'm just going to chop it up, and it's going to go in last minute, so I'm going to finally slice it. Oh, is it going to go in last minute? It's going to go in last minute, because if I put it in now, the flavour and the heat will just get stronger as the dish goes, as the dish cooks. So it will actually be, instead of being a, an aromatic flavour, it will be, um, it will be a... Too hot for me. Too hot. Too hot for you, but it'll be at the forefront of the dish <coughs> flavour instead of it being just <coughs> a note, a, a subtle note within the dish to help it, uh, help the flavour. So if you come out this way. So those courgettes, look at that, they're, they're pretty much done already. They've got a little bit of colour on there, a little bit of caramelisation. Um, and if you were to eat one of those, they'd be slightly soft. But they're going to carry on cooking, so I'm happy with that there. So what happens next is I'm going to put in the prawns. I'm just going to squeeze any excess liquid out of the prawns. The heat's up as high as it goes. Now what we're going to cook these prawns to is just as they start to turn pink all over. So I'm not going to wait till they're cooked all the way through. They're going to be light pink all over. Okay. And just while they're cooking, I'm going to prepare the sun-dried tomatoes. So I've got the sun-dried tomatoes, and I'm going to take them out of the tin. A jar, even that's not a tin. So I've got three, six. Six is probably enough, and I'm just going to slice those down. Okay. 
and I'm going to put those into the pan as well. And just lift the oil off the chopping board. And just get, get that flavour going in there. Can I have some more? Sorry? Can I have some more? Do you want some more in there? Mm. Okay. Good luck to them. Okay, so that's that there, I'm happy with that, and I'm just going to also then just put in a little bit of the oil from the jar, maybe a tablespoon of the oil from the jar, because that's going to have loads and loads of flavour in it. I've then got here about half a glass of white wine. Just thought they just caught there. A little tiny bit. Okay, so those prawns are pretty much cooked now, so it's nearly finished. That there, warm. I'm gonna put in the chili now. Chili goes in. The juice of half a lemon. Give that a mix. I'm gonna turn the heat off. I'm going to just check it for seasoning. It doesn't need a lot actually. Oh, those chilies are quite strong. I had to put them in last minute. Just cut the Swiss pepper out, that's not going to need a lot. And then <clears throat> I'm going to put the spaghetti into the pan, along with the parsley. <clears throat> Give that a mix round. Dog. Okay, and there you go, that there. Just need to serve it into a couple of bowls. But that there is your tagliatelle with some prawns, courgette, sun dried tomatoes, a bit of chili. Um, One of my favourites. And it's very, very nice. So, give it a go. If you want to, that is. Um, but you can just adapt, adapt the recipe. Just do it completely vegetarian if you want, or you know, just not put the prawns in. Uh, you can make it. You can make it vegan if you want. Absolutely, just adapt the flavours and everything in there. So nice and easy. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much.